Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm. Um, this is called X Season and I think this is like a TV special or something like that, like an OVA or something. And uh, I've not checked this out previously, like you know, Carnival Phantasm, as I said, I had actually watched it four or five years ago. But this is something that I never watched. This and there are a few others which I've never watched, which I'm going to be reacting to in the like, you know, upcoming two or three uh, like, you know, weeks. Uh, one is I remember it's called uh, The Castle of Ilya or something. There's another one which is some kind of a special. I don't remember. But these things, I'm going to react to them. And these are like complete blind reactions. I've not watched this previously. So this is like a complete new reaction will be like you know like a complete new thing for me as well so yeah let's see what this is about i'm sure i'm, I'm guessing it's probably like you know more carnival phantasm stuff so yeah let's see what this is about so yeah let's get started and this is carnival phantasm x season um and yeah let's see what this is so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time right here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started <clears throat> okay here's the countdown three two one go Prologue. Okay. Oh, Shiki. Oh, wait, is this this? Oh, my God. Yeah, it is Aoko. Oh, no, Toko. Aoko or Toko? Who is she? I always mix the name up. Wait, what? This is not how I remember Tsukihime? This is not how I remember Tsukihime? <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? What? Mystic's eye sealer? Oh, the glass, okay. Yeah, it's the wrong one. <laughs> What the? Oh my god, it's <laughs> stolen from my sister. Oh my god, this is how it starts. <laughs> okay, I think her name is Aoko, yeah, not Toko. Toko is the other sister. Wait, what? Okay. Special day. Oh boy. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, um, I think her name is Aoko, isn't it? Like, I always mix the two sisters up. Uh, the one who was in Karno Kyokai was Toko, who is the elder sister, I think? Yeah. And Ao and Aoko is the younger sister. Who is in Tsukihime? Yeah, okay. And I think in uh, Mahoska and Yoru, Yoru uh, both of them are there, aren't they? Yeah. Both Aoko and Toko, both the sisters are there. All right. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Friends. Huh? Oh, these are the... I, I don't remember them at all from Tsukihime. These are both are from Tsukihime. They're the villains. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, 
<laughs> oh boy, I forgot everything about Sukim. I don't remember anything. Roa, that's his name. Oh, this guy's name is Nero. Okay. Short skit. Love and money. Oh, okay. Is he drunk? Yeah. Oh my god. Chicken hop. What? Fuyuki chicken. Oh my god, Karen's here. I gently recruit him. <laughs> okay, this is really interesting. Karen-chan! Radical Karen-chan! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what is Kid Gil doing here? Wait! Whoa! <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's interesting. <laughs> Illegal work. Yeah, yeah, just take it, you know? Like, she's giving it. <laughs> Little money. <laughs> oh my god, is she going to slap them with it? Yeah. Whoa, what? Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm... <laughs> god damn Chaos insured. Oh. <laughs> Rinse just... Mouth water. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. Sakura is so chill. Look at her. Uh. Oh my god. Wow, she is... Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, the Edelfelts. Her. Who? Wait, who is this? Oh, wait, Bazet. That's Bazet, isn't it? Oh my god, it's Bazet. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, who are the other two? Oh, there's some other character. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, she's gonna throw the money- oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, god damn. What? Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh no. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Cat? Wait, who? Oh, this is... I also forgot about, forgot about her. Who is this? Oh yeah, I... I, I she's like the blue haired... Calicoran strip? Why can't... Uh, there you go, this, this girl, I know her, but all, okay, these are five Ren cats, okay. What is this? Is this like a Power Rangers reference? United Cat Squadron. What? what? <laughs> okay. Right, let's see what it's <laughs> what <laughs> <Nasurans>. <laughs> oh my god oh my god an insect is flying ah oh. oh my god Oh, is this the, 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 what was it called? The Phantasm or whatever? Magical Girl? Phantasm Moon. The movie? What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm a magical girl. Yep. Demon idea. <laughs> uh, uh, what the? Yo, I don't have a root. <laughs> Well, um, wait, she, all right, the transformation sequence, don't trust over that. <laughs> that was a quick transformation sequence. <laughs> Wow, okay. Oh, it didn't work. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, what what is Rin doing here? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, this is a collab or something? <laughs> Where's Luvia? I'm waiting for Luvia. Um, okay, that's awkward. <laughs> Combination, okay. Um, what's happening? Oh, okay, the combination move.
<laughs> oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Stop this chain of sadness. All right, there you go. That worked out. Lilia. <laughs> Everyone orange. Wait, that was E. Oh, I was. Uh, it took me a while to understand what was happening. That was Elia. Okay, that's why she was saying I don't have a root. <laughs> it took me a while to understand that. <laughs> she is just. Uh, I didn't get to show up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Who <laughs> cares about the plot? Short skit. Anirv. What? Oh, Nero. Oh, that's why they call him Nero. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh my god, the original Nero will come and I feel like she's going to... Oh, never mind. That's not a dog. What is that? What? Uh, okay. Wow. Oh boy. Okay. Yes. <laughs> There's no real next episode. Oh. Spin off edition. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So. Oh my God. Hmm. See you again. <laughs> Uh, all right so this was um an interesting episode okay a lot of things happened and i i feel like so there's a few things i need to go back again like now first of all the whole thing with i, I think nero they called him i i don't remember any of the villains in sukihime i forgot about that guy what was his he called he was called something the, the guy with the the guy who was talking about uh, Akiha and um, Shiki, you know, and talking with Nero, that guy. And like, I remember his face. I even remember this guy, the guy along beside the panda. I remember them, like, you know, faces, but I don't remember who they are and, like, you know, the extra details and stuff. I completely forgot about everything. So, yeah. Like, I feel like there were probably a few hidden jokes there, but I wasn't able to understand them because I forgot everything about Tsukihime. Most of the things I forgot. But I do remember the first uh, scene of Tsukihime, you know, where um, Aoko comes in 
and she just you know like i think she gives him the um glasses doesn't she yeah like that scene i remember very nicely uh yeah so i i, I recognize the first scene of this episode oh wait there's, there's something left lunar eclipse oh my god she's back what oh she's he's grown up okay she's he's grown up change the frame <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay huh <laughs> What? Boy age. Wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ikaru Genji, where have I heard that name before? Just a sec, I've heard that name somewhere. Shonen H. Okay, um, by H I mean Hikaru Genji, of course. Uh, the Hikaru Genji plan involves raising a child to become one's ideal spouse. Wait, where have I heard the Hikaru Genji before? I, I think I, that name is very familiar. Oh, nah, from Genji Monogatari, Murasaki Shikibus. Okay, Hikaru Genji, the main character, uh, the main protagonist, whatever you call him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Hikaru Genji. Okay, now I remember. I'm like, where have I heard that name before? Like, it's so familiar. <laughs> okay. All right, so. So I, I guess like the Hikaru Genji plan means involving raising a child to become one's ideal spouse. It's I guess that's a thing. I don't know. Like from the translation note, I can see that. Oh my god. <laughs> Aoko's full blown. Oh my god, freak over here. <laughs> and she keeps like, damn, like maybe she was the six heroine. <laughs> oh. Funny because I, I don't think uh, Aoko ever comes back in Tsukihime. Never. I think he, the only time we see Aoko is like in the first scene. And after that, we never see her again. And Aoko is basically like a guest appearance in that, uh, like you know, place, and get just get, she's there just to give Shiki the uh, glasses for his uh, mystic eyes, and that's all. Like you know, her actual like you know place where she is uh, present, you know, as a character is uh, Mount Sky no Yoru, I think. And Kano Kyokai as well. I'm not sure about Kano Kyokai because in Kano Kyokai, the most of the time you only see uh, Toko, not Aoko. Aoko is not there. We we do hear about uh, Aoko, but we never see her. Like Toko is there. So, but in Mahou's Kano Yoru, I I think like uh, Aoko and Toko, both of them are present as characters, as actual characters. I think. Um. So yeah. <clears throat> Okay, um, this episode, um, like I always, <laughs> okay, the first scene, as, as always, we see, like, you know, like, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the scene of the first uh, Tsukihime, ep uh, not episode, sorry, visual novel scene, where, you know, in, in that field or whatever, Shiki is there and, like, you know, he narrates how he met someone who gave him those, like, you know, uh, glasses. And that's, like, you know, like a parody of that scene where, <laughs> Aoko is just wait her name is Aoko isn't it or am I making a mistake from the beginning just a sec uh, let me double check I, I think her name is Aoko like I always mix these two sisters up all the time there you go Aozaki Aoko the reason why I mix them up you know why because um, her name is Aoko and I do know Ao means blue you know, I, I, in Japanese, Ao means blue, it, it, doesn't it? So whenever I hear the name Aozaki Aoko, I, I, like, I kind of get confused because her hair is actually red. So I'm like, wait, is she Aoko or is she Toko? 
I always like you know mix it up. So <laughs> that's why I have so like you know problem, so much problem with like you know actually remembering both of their names. And it's been a while I've played Tsukihime, so I like you know like that's why I, I forget her name even more. So yeah, Aoko. Uh, so yeah, at the beginning of the episode and during the reaction, I was very confused. I'm, I'm like, who is this, Aoko or Toko? Which of the sisters is this? And then I'm like, yeah, it's probably Aoko because the name is Ao, has blue in it. So that's why I probably confused. So that's why her name is Aoko. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, like it's a parody of that first scene. Oh my God, where Aoko is just a freak over here. You know, she's just like... <laughs> nose bleeding and everything and he's she's like okay here you go the glasses with a wacky like you know frame <laughs> that's how the whole thing starts and yeah okay then we can get back to uh the episode where we meet the two characters nero and that other guy and as i said i forgot everything about them and like you know the other guy says something about akia doesn't care about me and she cares forgetting about me now now after hearing this i have a little recollection in my head i think he is supposed to be the elder brother isn't it or something like that because akiha and shiki obviously they're like part of the same family the brother and sisters so him talking about akiha and shiki probably means that he's like the, the, their elder brother or something and i do have vague recollections of uh you know when i was playing sukime i i do remember there was a character who was like the brother of Shiki or something like that, I feel like, you know, I, I, I do remember. So I think like he's probably their sibling or something like that. Um, I might be wrong though, as I said, I've forgotten everything about Tsukihime. And I don't know anything about Nero, I, I forgot everything about Nero, like who he is and everything. Like, Tsukihime deals with so many new things, like not new, I would say, because actually the Tsukihime, I think Tsukihime came out before Fate, so this is probably the origin. Now, <clears throat> Sukimai deals with so many things which I, <clears throat> I, I read about before but I've forgotten, you know. Even in FGO this came out, the whole thing with true ancestors. And I, I read about it and I understood it when I read it. But now everything is just like faded away. And during the third Lost Belt in Fate Grand Order, the whole thing with uh, Consort Yu, um, you know, like her being like a true ancestor or something. Um, at that moment i also kind of understood little things but you know like sukime actually delves deeper into this whole um true ancestors these type of things which i have no recollection about and i'm just waiting for the remake to get an actual translation like i'm, I'm going to start sukime again because it's been so long that i've actually read it uh but anyways um <clears throat> okay uh okay then <laughs> Then we move to the whole thing with Karen. Now here's the thing. At first I was really confused. I was like, what's happening? Why is Karen calling um uh her like you know Kuhulin calling Karen her his master? And then I realized like oh like Karen is supposed to be Kotomine's daughter, so like Kotomine was Lancer's master, so I guess Karen is also Lancer's master in, in, in that way, I guess. And that's why I'm guessing he was calling her his master. But what about Kid Gil? I think something probably happened in Hollow Interaction and I probably forgot. That's why, I, I guess, like, you know. Uh, but the whole thing, you know, like, I, I, do, I do remember, like, you know, the ending of Hollow Ataraxia, where the whole thing with Angra Mayu gets revealed. Now, uh, spoiler alert for people who have not played Hollow Ataraxia and seen this part. You, you can skip this, like, you know, like 10, 30 seconds. Um, we do know in the end that I think Shiro, Shiro is actually Angra Mayu, isn't it? Isn't he? You know, his, he, his body is taken as a vessel. That's why, you know, like at night, he, he kind of like started becoming Angra Mayu and like did his old thing and like interacted with Bazet, interacted with Karen. And while in the morning, we had this happy time where like, you know, just slice of life time where Shiro just moved around uh, having fun with all the other like, you know, characters like Saber, Rin and everything. Like the whole night was like Angra Mayu and the day was Amy Ashiro. Something like that. I, I do remember it was something like that. There was like a little twist there. So <clears throat> I do remember that ending. And I do remember the whole thing with, I think, uh, Bazette as well. 
like yeah like technically Anamayu was Bazet's servant as far as I can remember in Hollow Ataraxia but at the same time Lancer was also Bazet's servant yeah but no but that was okay anyways um <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Um, so, yeah, I think that's probably why Lancer was calling uh, Karen her ma his master. Yeah, most probably. And <laughs> Karen just <laughs> shoves a, a, a stack of money and he's like, oh, money talks. But Kidgil is, as always, not interested in money, doesn't care. It doesn't matter to him. While Lancer is like, nah, I'm fine. But <laughs> Karen just starts slapping him with money and he's, she's like, oh, this is pretty fun, you know, like slapping others with money. <laughs> oh, and then they go to the Emiya household and oh my God, like <laughs> Rin was drooling because of the whole thing. And she's like, oh, come to my house. Ilya is like, wow. And Saber is like, oh, I'm going to get more food. The only person who was calm throughout the whole thing was Sakura. While Taiga was just getting ready to make dinner. <laughs> oh lord. Uh. Okay, and then we meet in the shopping district. We meet Bazette. Uh, Hu Hulin meets Bazette. And... <laughs> oh boy. The whole thing with Bazette is pretty sad. That the, the time when, like, you know, Karen said that... Baz <laughs> Bazette. <laughs> what did he say? Like, uh, show your uh, left arm or something? Left hand? Oh, th there you go. Where is it? Um, okay, here we go. Give me your left hand, Bazette. And there was like Kotomine Kire behind her. Like, <laughs> that scene, my god. I do remember in uh, Hollow Ataraxia, like, it was revealed. Uh, or was it revealed in Fate in itself? I don't know. But I think it, it was revealed. Uh, it's probably Hollow Ataraxia where. The main de the, the details was revealed how Bazet lost Uhulin. It was I think Kire was the one who cut off her hand or something, as far as I remember. Yeah, and got her command spells by, by that. So <laughs> this scene of Karen actually like you know asking Bazet for her his ha her hand is pretty messed up if you think about it like that. <laughs> oh no. Okay, and you know the whole thing with Bazette. it's sad like you know thinking about the whole thing with Bazette like Bazette just got m manipulated you can say or used by Kire just so that Lancer like you know like, he, like Kire could get Lancer while Lancer as always like you know his luck of always dying and not getting a person like you know an actual genuine master to serve um it's like sad so that's why Hollow Ataraxia you know it, it actually uh, fulfills all of our wishes, like, you know, all all the characters' wishes in some way or the other, and it, it gets like a, the ending was a pretty good ending. It's a happy ending, you know, all the Ataraxia's ending, like everyone's happy and everything, quite nice. <laughs> Nobody dies and all. Uh, okay, um, okay, then we get to the next part of um, what was that? Oh, the whole thing with Shiki. And Ren, okay, here we go again. Another thing, Ren. I forgot most of the things about Ren, but I do remember a few things. Um, uh, so that's why when the like you know, black haired Ren came out, I'm like, who is this? This is not Ren. And then I saw like, oh, this is like a little skit they're doing where there's like different, like you know, Rens, like five types of Rens. And I'm guessing that was like a Power Ranger reference or something, you know. That whole yeah, it's probably a Power Ranger reference because there's five of them, you know. And I do remember, like in Power Rangers, there's usually five: you know, the Red Ranger, Blue Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Pink Ranger, Red, Blue, Green, Yellow, Pink. Wait, what? Who's the other one? Oh, five. Okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. It's five. Oh my God, I'm I'm going crazy. <laughs> Red, Blue, <laughs> Green, Yellow. And pink, yeah. So <clears throat> okay, um the next part. Ah, Fanta's Moon, the movie. Yeah. Oh my god, this part <laughs> at the beginning when the Grail Monster came out, I'm like for, for, for a moment I thought that was Akiha. And you know, like they were then like then suddenly Rin comes in. I thought Luvia's also going to come in. 
um but yeah she never comes sad but you know nothing can do about it and then Arsid and Rin actually teams up to fight that thing and defeats it using their fusion power or whatever and Ilya <laughs> Ilya like you know he like passes away and that's when I realized that was Ilya and that's why I'm like oh that's why she was saying like I don't have a root it makes more sense <laughs> And yeah, that was like the, the movie. And yeah, then there were like small little sections of, uh, you know, like Shiro, uh, not Shiro, uh, what's her, his name? Uh, Shiki just getting up at night and weird noises coming out. And he's like, he goes there and he sees like the sisters playing Hisui and uh, Kohaku. And all the other stuff. Yeah, that's where it ends. And the, the little section in the end with Taiga and Ilya. <laughs> Okay, alright, one thing. I feel like they kind of showed us a little glimpse of the Edelfeld family, wasn't it? Like, I... I like, th this is a thing, you know? Okay, here we go. Okay, the, the, the scene where um, Karen talks about money and everything comes back from the Emiya house. The transition scene, here we go. Um, the scene, the transition scene, we see three of them. Luvia. Sakura and Rin and I do remember these three characters being someone completely different from our Sakura and our Rin. These are I think like the um, Edelfeld family somehow involved with the Edelfeld family or something and they look completely like Rin and Sakura and I do remember them showing them in Hollow Ataraxia as well and I was very confused. I'm like what is Rin and Sakura doing and then later on I got to know that these two are not the actual Rin and Sakura, there's someone else, but they look like them. So it's like a parallel universe thing or something. I, I don't remember again. As I said, like so many things, fate deals with so many things that, like, it's confusing. It gets confusing if after a moment. And oh boy, I might have to check this out later on who these two are because they kind of explained it in Hall of Ataraxia, but I don't recall it because it's been a while. So yeah, this is another thing. Like there were so many references of Hollow Ataraxia in this episode. I really liked it, and uh, yeah, and that's yeah, that's and that's it. So wow, that was a very entertaining episode, and yeah, <laughs> yeah probably because I'm seeing it for the first time. You know, like up up until now, all the episodes that I've been seeing are something that I forgotten. So whenever I started seeing it, most of the things, even the, though I don't remember it, I kind of recalled it a little bit. But this is, uh, everything is completely new in this episode. So yeah, that was great. Uh, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. And uh, yeah, so next week, I'll be back with another episode. I think there's, uh, I'm going to do the episode called, I think it's called Hibichika Special, I think. Let me check. I think it's some, called something like, here we go, Carnival Phantasm, Ibi Chika Special. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to check this out. This, I have no idea what this is about, but yeah, like I'm interested. So I'm going to check this out next week. And the week after that, I'll probably do uh, Ilya's Castle or something like that. There's another one. So yeah, like that's how, how I'm going to do this. So yeah, anyway, see you guys next week. So yeah, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.